I will fight with honor. Victory or death! More cards in the deck that give me tremendous advantages. Tremendous advantages when I'm neutral. Nah, it was really just that I drew Elise and just the card too slow that game. Yeah. Not Elise, but map. Yep. Looks like a Zoth deck. See, if I were gaining two on him each turn because I would tank up and hit him with the tentacles farms, the warrior last game, then I'd be doing just fine. <laughs> tentacles for arms? Has Valley gone too far? I can make him draw two cards, he'll burn one. Reporting for duty. If I can make him draw three cards, that would be astonishingly good. Unfortunately, I can't. I do have a counter to the Zoth, which is Brawl. I can even Sylvanas coin Brawl. Might want to keep all three of these cards around. Mm. Are. You are not fit to rule but playing Sylvanas against Karen continues to be a good play. I have no time for games. None may steal our secrets. I must move quickly. Let none survive. Acolyte, ravaging, coin bash. It's pretty good. We'll do it. Let the pain speak to me. In fact, if I can get another whirling. No, that's not good. No. Oh. If I play this card, I actually steal only the four or five. Oh, but that dies. So the key is not to let that die. I'll take that. I have no time for games. No surprise. Bring the You can't let him steal the cairn, I think, so I have to kill this. For honor. Hmm, would've been nice to be able to attack that. Make him draw a cairn. I actually can do that. Yeah, okay. Burn the Zoth and loose. It's both true slurs. This guy's sad that he can't equip tentacles for arms now. That is probably the last thing on his mind. Do you like to play with fire? <laughs> Only a tentacles for arms. That ooze would do nothing. for 
His hand is probably very similar to mine. With a handful of removal, I'm guessing. Maybe he has Nazoth in his hand, but he doesn't want to play it yet. Reporting for duty. Play disease. I don't feel like killing a one one. Put your faith in the light. Reporting for duty. Revenge. Okay. More blood. No revenge. Holding the weapon is kind of interesting. You'd think you want to revive Tyrion ASAP. Maybe he doesn't have it. I don't know. to die. For duty. Or rather I can make it so that, that doesn't die for quite some time. None may steal our secrets. Reporting for duty. Maybe Yogg doesn't belong in this deck after all. Pretty impressive, though. No, but Yogg doesn't belong in this deck. He has one more equality in his deck. I know he has two consecrations. Oh, I'm not gonna get any spiders. My hand is too full. Come on, again, Golden Monkey. I mean, don't burn. Golden Monkey, please, my hero of power. Dog, oh, you don't belong in this deck. Yeah, right, that's good. Oh, right, that's why his deck is bigger. I, I looked at it and was like, wait, wasn't I ahead in the fatigue? And the time for as well. Well, time for Doomsayer. Guess I'll toss this guy into it. Uh, the card's actually a good 6-6 six, six, though. Oh, I'm good. Right, I also don't want to transform my guys into monkeys. We need the Brawl. And his off. Play is pretty much gonna look like uh, Brawl is off. Now I can still shield stain stuff. Instead of your black. I'm almost out of cards. This document looks legally binding. I think I replaced Tentacles. I replaced this card with Tentacles for arms. I might throw a Revenge in there. 
But maybe not. This card in his deck is Ambush, so he's gonna start fatiguing. My last card is the best card in the deck, Tentacles for Arms. He's had Die Sylvanas, One Toilet Summoner, Harvest Skull. Is that it? Now oh, Tyrion, yeah. I think I need to hit these and then Shadow Blast face. Mind Spike face. And I think it has to be a double bra, right? Yeah, double bra. And we go monkey it up. Uh. I'm the Nazoth now. Probably shouldn't have hit him in the face with that uh, last charge of Gorha. Right, so he took five. Put your faith in the light. Follow the rules. Six, so he's gonna take seven. I believe that's lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. Since he decided to swing him. I mean, it would have been lethal either way, eventually. Rush. Oh, right, he's not dead. There we go. Oh, I didn't even need the Ashbringer. We need something that doesn't put a threat on the board because this deck has no threats. So no matter how well Yogg-Sron does, the board's always going to kind of be bad for me. We need a card that's good but isn't a threat. Which is why I put Yogg in. But it turns out Yogg can develop the... The point of Yogg's goodness is to just develop threats. Maybe I saw. That's not a threat. No, it's just a big card. It's just gonna kill one guy. The problem with, uh... Rafong is that it's just two threats. And I play so few threats that two threats aren't really helpful. Possibly just another cleave is the answer. Shifter is Zerus. No, it's a threat always, though. Sogoth. 
Oh my gosh. Was this the deck they tested Sogoth in? It was OP? Maybe Black Knight though. Oh, maybe BGH. Maybe both. <sighs> How many decks out there actually have stuff with Taunt? But every deck out there has a 7 or above. Uncle's Farms 1.2. Small change, but alright. It'll let me remember that Yogg's round was really bad. Doomsayer is actually an interesting choice, too. In some matchups I would try to do the uh, armor up instead of shield block there, but I feel like I need to be more actively looking for an answer. Okay. If I didn't play the Acolyte out there, it would have gone into a deadly poison. This is probably the Miracle Rogue. Well, it could still be Nazoth. This can hit Edwin Van Cleef. Card's never going to be that card good against that deck. I think I just play it. I have no time for games. Assuming it is a miracle deck, because they'll run two sap, so I might as well spend six mana. Here comes the tentacles again. Value. I wonder. That belongs in a museum. Hmm. Uh, at least I don't burn that card. Wait, now oh, yes. But I do burn a card. Wow. Okay, whatever. Brotherhood shell cafe. I've got the beast in my side. You can never burn the tentacles. Well, there are some specific moments where you can. I got the best deal anywhere. At least the tentacles were saved. This guy's a toast. If it's preparation, uh, conceal. We're gonna have some RNG boys. This card's not that good. Too bad. I will be your death. Double cleave would have been nice. I actually got a pretty big hand, and I have no minions on the board, so it's tougher to cast spells. <laughs> this guy's a toast.
This will never be too bad. What if I hit these two? And I should blood take or that first, right? Then what if I hit these two? And that's fine. Seal. That belongs in the museum. Mm. Uh, that runs too cold bloods. Gonna hit me for a lot this turn. Maybe I could have saved the uh, Clea for the conceal. Maybe he's not ready yet. Thank you. Interesting. Killed a lot of his minions. I don't know if he even has any left. Other than that one, of course. Anywhere. There shouldn't be that many left. We if I do manage to get rid of all of them, he can't use his cold blood on anything. Sometimes there's Leroy. I'm almost out of cards. One answer is short, I think. Maybe. Unless he runs Leroy, in which case I was behind anyways. No top, because he would have Sap, of course. Probably has another sap on top of that. Interesting. Why isn't he casting his cold bloods? Ah, where's my answers? This being damaged makes it a little bit harder to kill. Oh, yeah, the Lyra. Mm, close. Looks like if I had managed to kill off the Gadgetzan with some kind of thingy, would have had it. I don't think if you play Justicar when you already have tank up and play, you, you reset the hero power. Cake? I mean, I could be wrong there, but I don't believe that's what happens. Hey, hey, you wanna buy a funnel cake? 
Snake. Whoa. Oh, right. I was like, why would you put that card in your deck? Oh, right, he didn't. Do you have the artifact? Zoth deck or normal deck? I should say Nazoth. I should ask Nazoth deck or Miracle deck. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, With the rise of Miracle, let's try to find a way to get through the concealed Gadzan, if that's possible. Hmm. Bomb Lobber and Flame Cannon are out. I have no time for games. Yeah, it looks like Nazoth though. Disqualified. Against uh, Nazoth, we do pretty much the standard brawl. Mind if I roll need? Probably one of the biggest cards to uh, shield slam. Uh, Ikor Bash. My tentacles. My shield for Argus. My tentacles. The pleasure is mine. Behold the armies of Stormwind. That's a BGH. Lumbra. Wow! Impressive. For all time. No, tentacles! Too soon! I've got the beast in my sight. The shadows beckon. Ah, oh, thirteen. Time for technical value. Uh, actually, so we need to revenge for one, and then revenge for three to get rid of the board. Two, four, nine. And we'll revenge everything. I just want to take a little bit less damage if possible. But I don't think so. So I take the four, and then I revenge, revenge. The bright side is that deck shouldn't have much burst. Looks to be an Azoth deck. I probably should have coin armored up. I don't know why I didn't do that. Obsession with coins. My eyes are open. Ah, the 
This guy's a toast. The shadows beckon. I think I'm actually safe. I need to use that brawl in the uh oh. Save the coin. Save the world. He plays Nizoth, I play Sylvanas coin brawl, we turn it around. Well, guess not. Well, on the bright side, science was performed. These rogue decks. Hmm. I mean, Zoo is really good against them. I would actually, at this point, switch over to... And I'll show you my other plan. I never was going to build a tentacles deck, but in my drunken stupor, which is my sickness, I decided it might be a good idea. What I wanted to do was actually build a priest deck. 